hello guys welcome to our fourth video on adobe photoshop interface so today we're going to learn how to use the marquee tool so we have the rectangular marquee tool electrical marquee tool we have the single row and then the single column as well okay so before then i will show you how to import images into photoshop so there are basically two ways you can do that so using open will actually launch that image in a new tab okay so now you can see it has launched that in a new tab but then if you use the option place embedded or place linked it's going to load that image in that current active tab okay so if i turn this to be our active tab use place link so it's going to be the same thing so the image will be opened here okay so um one thing again that you should take note of is whenever you load using the option open it's going to load the image in its original size okay so now whenever you want to use the um, the setup my key tool there's one thing that you need to put into consideration the fact that your image needs to be rasterized so currently this image is already rasterized and how do we know it's rasterized when you right click you discover that the rasterized option is disabled and how i know is that any image that is not rasterized always has comes with a thumbnail you can see this it has a thumbnail let's see the image that we use the place link to import you can see it also has a thumbnail okay so this image is going to work so assuming we want to cut half of this image using the rectangular marquee tool so we just select it and then we'll drag around here so all we need to do is to hit delete on the keyboard okay then press ctrl d to deselect the selection okay so you can see that we're able to do that with the marquee tool okay so now we have this image as well so if we say we want to do the same thing on this image it's not going to work because it hasn't been rasterized it's still in a vector form so we need to rasterize it so you see okay so sorry not in its vector form rather this is actually um, an image that it's a smart object okay so this is a smart object it will work so it will always throw an error so we we'll always need to rasterize this so after rasterizing when you hit delete it should work now so you can see okay so at the basic level this is what you can use any of this my kill tool to to achieve let's try this I can move it around okay when I, I can decide to add marks to it you can see so so these are some of the things you can use the marquee tool for okay so that is what I have for you in this video so see you guys in the next tutorial